Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not recognize this room. We are currently in Steve's office, which we decorated not that long ago. It's definitely not finished, but one of the things I'm kind of not regretting, but want to change is the art that I put on the wall. It's not really quite right for the space. I wanna change it out. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video is try and do a little bit of a DIY art situation to get exactly what I want for the room. So like I said, this room isn't done because we are gonna move our sofa in here very soon. Um, but this is the piece of art that I put up. I don't really like it. I think it just looks like it's floating. I don't think it's really adding anything to the room. It doesn't look how I thought it was gonna look. But I have a plan because I actually have a huge canvas in the garage which was in Steve's office in the last house that I DIY'd and I'm going to re-DIY my DIY. So I'm going to go grab it and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so this is a piece of art I was talking about. So this was in Steve's office in the last house. This canvas is huge. I picked this up in a charity shop. It was brand new, completely packaged from a charity shop for eight quid. And as you can see, I've already painted on it and done this kind of abstract thing, which I'm just not vibing with anymore. I don't really like it. So plan for this. Um, I've seen a couple of inspo picks and what i want to do is incorporate colors that are already in the room so i'm going to just do some really simple abstract blocks just color blocking using different kind of tones of paint that's already in the room so i do some dark ones light ones blah 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 so basically just painting the canvas nothing mind-blowingly different there but then i also want to add a frame onto it so I'm gonna pop to be in Q later and I'm gonna get some of that kind of like pine strip wood and actually attach it around the edge of this so it has like a really nice kind of wooden frame on it just to give it a little bit more something something and make it look more spenny so I need to get my paints I'm gonna have some lunch first then I'm gonna get my paint start painting I'm just gonna wing it I do have some inspo picks but we'll see. It, that, I never seem to stick to the inspo picks, so it's going to be very unorganised, unplanned. Okay, let me run you through what I've got because I haven't bought anything for this. So I've got a sack of paintbrushes, obviously. I've got a light neutral colour. This is actually what we used in our bedroom. It's by Coat Low Salt. I've got a colour match of Valspar, so it's like an off-white. I've got this random sample pot, which I can't open, but it's like a really, really dark charcoal -y colour. I've got white wooden metal undercoat. We're winging it here, guys. And I also have this left over from a furniture fit flip project I did months ago. It's like a chalk-based furniture paint. But I just kind of think when you're doing stuff like this and just having fun with it, just use whatever paint you've got. It doesn't really matter. I have got some tape. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that yet or not. And I've also got this in case I wanna mix something up. I've also got this box to kind of prop the canvas up on. I'm just gonna do this in the lounge and obviously this carpet's not really staying. So if I do spill paint on the carpet, it's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna try not to. So I think I'm gonna start by masking out some of the bigger shapes and just go for it. I'm just gonna wing it, guys.
this is where I'm with it. <laughs> I'm out with it so far. I'm not happy with how this is going. So I thought I would actually do a bit of filler on it and then I changed my mind <laughs> because I want this to be nice and flat and like modern. Um, so I scraped the filler off because I don't want any texture on it. So I've just painted that like wood and metal primer. It's so gloopy and thick and shiny. And I don't even know if I really want like a brilliant white either. I have to go to B&Q to get the um, strip wood to go on the outside of this. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a rummage and see if I can find any like sample pots and I can get some maybe um, more of an off-white because this I thought was off-white, it's actually another dark color. So I've got like 10,000 dark paints that I could use but no light ones um, that aren't white. So I'm gonna let this dry and just treat it as more of like a primer. Um, yeah, and hopefully B&Q have something that I can use instead. Okay, we are back from B&Q with some supplies. Um, I got the Good Home Hempstead color tester to put on these areas because it seems like a bit more of a kind of neutrally off-whitey greyish color. I also got something called Milltown, which is like a turquoise, and I've kind of mixed it up to make more of an inky, bluey, greeny color, which I think will look really nice. So I'm, this is not dry, but I am impatient, so I'm gonna put this light neutral color on top of it now. Okay hey guys, so I've left this to dry overnight. Really, really happy with how this has turned out so far. So, next step is to add the frame. Sorry about the state of the carpet. Rocky's just bought a stick in to chew, so there's like wood everywhere. Um, so this is what I got to do the frame, basically. It's just two bits of pine strip wood from B&Q. This is the size that I went for so they're 2.4 meters long, 21 millimeters wide, and 11 thick. My canvas is like two centimeters deep, so that was like the perfect kind of size. So basically, I've just got my mitre saw. Um, this isn't really the right kind of saw to do this, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got a tiny bit, well, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this adhesive, it's actually white, so I need to make sure that it doesn't kind of seep through. But I'm essentially just gonna cut 45 degree angles, put it together, 
tape it, glue it, and then I think I'm gonna get my nail gun and fire some nails into the side. Because obviously with the canvas, it has a wooden frame on it anyway. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna crack on, hopefully, it won't take me too long. The only thing I'm worried about is just getting the measurements right. So we shall see. Okay, so now those are all sawn and kind of in place, I'm just gonna give them a really quick sand because they're just a little bit, a little bit jaggedy on the edges. So I'm just gonna literally kind of do that to all of them. Okay, so now those are all sanded. I'm gonna take a little bit of this adhesive. So this is the no nonsense grab adhesive. This isn't ideal because it actually dries white, um, but it is super, super strong. I'm using it because I just have it. I'm just gonna be really careful with it. But I think what will be better is probably more like a clear Gorilla Glue type thing. But what I'm gonna do is literally, just on these 45 degree angles, I'm just gonna put the tiniest little drop <laughs> so that I can kind of bond these 45 degree corners together. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of tape and just tape the corner so they don't kind of separate. And then I'm gonna fire a couple of nails in each length with my nail gun, just to kind of hold the frame into the wooden frame of the actual canvas. I have never ever done this before. This is just how I think would be the best way to do it. But this isn't tried and tested, so we shall see. Right guys, it is all done. Glue's dried, frames. <laughs> he actually scared me and he did that. Um, the frame is on and <laughs> I've just hung it on the wall. So I'm gonna show you how it's turned out now. Um, one little disclaimer, it, I think it's too high um, and it's also hung on the wonk. We are gonna be moving the sofa back in here at some point. So I'm gonna wait until that's in the room before I readjust it. But yeah, I'm gonna start waffling and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, the lighting in here is not great because Steve likes to have this room as like a bit Hold of a on. cave. Hold on. But bam. Right, so here is how it looks. It definitely looks far more wonky because obviously 
of the paint there but I'm thinking of dropping it down a couple of inches um, so it kind of overlaps that blue section um, really happy with how this turned out I think the colors are really good for this room and the frame I'm actually I don't know why I've not done this sooner added like a wooden frame to a canvas like that um, so obviously this room it, it's gonna have a little a few more changes going on um, so it's not completely finished but I think this like piece of art ties into this room really really well the only tiny tiny thing that I would change is this block color here I wouldn't have it as dark because the contrast between that and that isn't quite enough but I think it's good for just a little kind of project piece of art what are your thoughts Steve yeah, I think it looks really good. I think it's better than the one we had in here previously. It's a better size than that. Yeah, well, and it fits the, the colour profile of the room better. The colour profile, wow. Heard it here first. <laughs> so yeah, really happy with how that turned out. I'm going to sign this video off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully it's inspired you to kind of create your own DIY art. It's like one of my favourite things to do is just kind of like mess around with the canvas. Um, and yeah, like I said, wish I tried the wooden frame thing sooner because it turned out really well. And it was really, really cheap. I think they were like £8 for the wood. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and follow along with more kind of like renovation content, DIY stuff. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.